Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Good to be back today. We're reviewing season three, episode three of Picard. This episode is called 17 Seconds. Full spoilers, as always, you guys know how it is. Let's get straight to it. So just my quick summary of this episode, the plot really moves forward. We get a lot of character development. The story, we see a bigger picture. All the main characters in this series are flushed out. Their storylines are flushed out and what is going to be happening over the next few episodes. And yeah, I really liked it. So the episode begins in the nebula again where the titan is on the run from the shrike as the last episode ended in this nebula we got to a flashback of Riker and picard i believe it's in guinan's bar again it's not 100 percent confirmed they are de-aged and it looks like it happens around the events of nemesis or well obviously after that time but it is a de-aged scene and they're discussing kind of Riker's new boss son who apparently dies, or we get told he dies in uh, Picard season one. The CG does not look good. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the It was very distracting. We know what Picard looks like post-Nemesis. It looks like an Instagram filter. Like the skin is completely blurred. Um, it doesn't look even de-aged. I mean... If anything, they look kind of five years younger. I mean, this is supposed to be 20 years before. Riker looks a little better, but he just doesn't look right. He looks almost animated. And it doesn't look good on either actor. Like I said, it looks slightly better on Riker. And yeah, it just looks like something that's done on, you know, Snapchat or some kind of social media app, as opposed to, you know, a, a, a studio de-aging their stars. And we finally get to picard and beverly crusher having a discussion about jack and what was went down on here i did think in in their sick bay i did think that this scene was really well written and i because the reason why i said that is because i understand both sides of their argument uh, i don't necessarily agree with you know one particular side but i do i mean there is logical points with both of their arguments and kind of why she kept jack a secret from picard they numbered it the fifth time you know they were trying in time in their kind of hidden or secret relationship obviously it was hinted at throughout star trek generations that you know they've they've had previous relationships so this was a confirmation of obviously it's been a number of times both like I said, making good points throughout, continuous and numerous attempts on Picard's life. Picard was the captain of the flagship starship in Starfleet, obviously the USS Enterprise. So he always was going to have a target on his back. She wanted to keep him, as in her son Jack, away from that. And, you know, because being linked to Picard, it would endanger, you know, his son's life. And she just didn't want that for him. Obviously, she lived through it you know, obviously working on or living, I guess, on, on the Enterprise. And Picard also makes legitimate points as getting so angry and frustrated about how dare you make a decision about the most important potentially thing in my life. You know, we see it even during the flashback, Picard getting emotional or him reacting sensitively to Riker's discussion about having a son, you know, obviously famously Picard doesn't have a family that kind of thing you know doesn't have any uh, parents or you know or children if you will so he was always super sensitive about that so this is his chance and it kind of passed him by through no fault of his own completely out of his hands and obviously Beverly uh, then mentioned you know even when he did find out or when she explained to him that you know Picard is your father he did not go to seek him out and obviously Picard mentioned that he's confided in Beverly about his father and she used that against him as a negative to keep kind of Jack away from him so um really kind of deep stuff but you can see the logic on both sides so Jack and Riker talk outside sick bay and they just have a kind of general catch up and this again it was a really well written scene but this scene, as long as several others, just make me re kind of fall in love with Riker again. And you know, he, his acting is fantastic and he has so much charm and uh, kind of almost positivity in the 
in him and it just kind of reminds me of the energy that the next generation kind of show had and it's in him in his abundance and of course jonathan freights did direct this episode as well so the shrike now shows up it attacks the titan Shaw is kind of badly injured so he commands and assigns the captaincy to the former captain of william Riker. and finally well to be honest this is the first time that i've actually seen Riker as a captain of a ship in a star trek kind of show or series an actual captain of a, a ship where you know he was previously captain of but nevertheless a captain and it was great to see and it was kind of a relief that i finally got to see that because i've always wanted to Riker and picard at the helm on the bridge on the titan and you know even the humor and and you know chemistry of course is is magnetic and also picard you know making the kind of really smart line of you know you you should call me number one now obviously great throwback great banter loved it Rafi and Worf finally meet Rafi is instantly more likable this episode uh I think it's because of Worf meaning that his personality and what he brings to the table in conjunction with Rafi their kind of personalities bounce off each other they do have decent chemistry and his kind of dry dark humor matched with her seriousness and her kind of struggles as something that he can relate to being a warrior etc they they do do kind of work she's a lot more likable in this episode no doubt back on board the titan Riker, and picard clash picard wants to battle the shrike head on and take them on as you know a leader Riker being the captain the actual captain wants to run and hide because they're not equipped enough for the shrike we see then the shrike fire the, a portal weapon that allows them to control the titan and it transports them back directly where they want them to so as the kind of titan try and escape they use a portal weapon the the titan goes through it and brings them back in front of the shrike you know in a really vulnerable position we then cut to jack who believes that they are being stalked and followed and they believe it to be some kind of uh, coil leak or warp leak or something along them lines and they think it's a saboteur they actually attack jack jack hits them back and there's some kind of weird face thing that's going on where his face kind of morphs or distorts in a way um which leads uh, and and he kind of leaves jack badly injured at that point raffi and wharf have noticed the same thing of this face distortion thing is it an alien is it a condition what's going on there and as they have someone captive to try and extort information from them. and whilst jack is getting treatment in sick bay he has some kind of vision that asks him to connect the dots and there's a kind of a door there i'm not sure what's going on i'm sure we'll get more information on this in the next episode and wolf and raffi believe that there's going to be some kind of attack potentially led by the changelings obviously that's what these kind of the, the face distortion was um it seems to be a changeling so they believe that there is an attack imminent and they're going to be attacked again because they were previously attacked where the starfleet academy was kind of uh, destroyed and lifted up into a portal and kind of dropped on the city but they believe that there was a distraction and something bigger and more dangerous is coming picard and Riker are now clashing they're going at it with each other uh, picard insistent that Riker attacks the shrike the ship is then damaged as in the titan is damaged because they do Riker finally gives in they attack the shrike the shrike then uses a portal to reverse the proton torpedoes back at the titan the ship is badly injured they're absolutely like dead in space they're dead in the water and they're drifting Riker is absolutely furious tells picard you've killed us and to get off my bridge and the episode ends harsh ending but really engaging so to summarize really good character development this episode from whether it's Riker and picard where it's beverly crusher where there's raffi actually surprisingly even a little bit from shaw you know shaw uh, he's becoming more and more likable in terms of his personality not necessarily in the show i mean me personally watching him you know he was only this is the shortest that he was in the episode but it's coming across really well and the plot's moving forward we know where the story's going a lot of the, the characters have had discussions about what we've seen previously so where we think it's a mystery box a couple of episodes later we've gotten the answers they 
talking more about Jack. Obviously, Picard and Jack really need to do have a thorough and proper sit down discussion about where they're going, what's going on, why didn't Jack get in touch with him? Obviously, to Jack can update Picard as well about these visions that he's having. The changelings now seem to be um, an introduction in, into the kind of bad guys that's going on, but I'm sure there's something more sinister going on. And, you know, they, when Beverly Crusher told Picard not to, they, they did discuss that as well about not to trust anyone. Picard went to Riker first. He explained to him immediately, do not trust anyone at Starfleet. The first person he went to is Riker. We've seen, obviously, his issues in this first episode. You know, I hope we talk out. But I have a, a feeling that Riker cannot be potentially trusted. Uh, we'll see. Obviously, we did see the saboteurs. But who are they in conjunction with? Why are they doing it? I really hope it's not Riker. Um, not that it wouldn't be, you know great to see potentially depends how it's done of course but just in in story wise i'm just kind of hoping it's not him and and it's someone else but i have a feeling uh he may have turned but we see Riker and picard are now arguing over command the decision did come down to Riker as he is a captain thinking about it you know we don't know it's left open-ended was picard right should they have acted earlier would the outcome would have been different potentially or was Riker right was should they have ran quicker should they have not engaged uh maybe too eager for a decision so what do you guys think what do you guys think Riker should have done in that scenario and what would you have done but uh, please if you're new to the channel please follow us subscribe like the video drop a comment on what you guys think of this episode and we'll catch you guys on episode four i heard it's a banger can't wait see you uh, next time on off the wall